guys back again in the shop with another video this time it's a door skinning video you can see on the door like on each corner it's pretty banged up and around the handle so we decided to replace the skin on this door but I started off by removing all my wires like holding the door in place to the to the car itself I removed the door catch I removed the wire that gives power to the door and then I removed the four bolts that it has on the side of the door after you remove that the door should easily just come right off I got my dad's help on this one so he can help me put it up on a stand. But after that, I start with the actual skinning of the door. Make sure you remove all gaskets and all rubber moldings around the door before you start grinding away because you know, you're gonna mess them up and we don't wanna do that. But anyways, I did that and I go into like super turbo mode right here. I start grinding the whole edge of the door and you just grind until you basically grind down the fold of the sheet metal from the lip of the door skin and the actual door itself. You just grind, you just grind, grind, grind all along the edge and then you can see over here how I just kind of pull it apart right about now. I just like yank it apart and then it just comes off. You're gonna repeat this, yeah, you're gonna repeat this whole process on the four sides of the door. I sped it all up because it, it takes quite a while but as you can see here, I'm doing the same thing. You just go, 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 and just grind and grind and grind away until you basically can pull it apart. This one kind of just came off by itself, and then over here it got stuck a little, but you just grind again some more, and it just comes right off. Then I move to the other side again, and I grind it this side. But there was like a chrome molding before this. I'm actually glad that I noticed before I actually started grinding. If not, I would have tore it up. But anyways, I removed that. And then I got here and it didn't, it didn't pop apart so I used my blade just to like get in between it. So if it doesn't get, if it doesn't pop apart, you know, just pry it apart with like a flat head or whatever you have handy next to you. And then you just yank that apart and bam, it comes out again. And then again, I went to the top part. This one's a lot easier, you know, it's just like two little folds. A little bit faster, I guess. But I removed that and then you can see on this one how it just kind of comes off and I don't even have to pry or anything, it just comes off. I think now, yeah, there you go. And I did that to the other side. You just keep grinding, 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 grinding. Hey, that's cool, you keep grinding, 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 grinding. And then it just comes off. That's it. After that, you know, you get, this is my seam sealer buster. This is what I used to remove spot welds and other stuff. And then I put it in between the door skin and the door itself, the door shell itself. And then I just start prying my, my glue apart from the door, from the door shell. You just kind of have to like put a little elbow grease in it and it don't come off. You know? Well, some, one thing that I was thinking about watching this video, I was wondering why I don't use my air hammer, but I've never really used it. And I don't know if that actually damages the panel. Maybe they have like a special kind of uh, chisel that you can use that won't damage the panel and would make this process a whole lot faster. But if you're not like trying to rush or anything, just use a head, like a, like I said, like a seam seater buster or like a flat head or something just to pry it apart, pry the glue apart. You can even heat the, like heat the glue with a heat gun if you want, but that just takes a little longer. And then after you go around the four edges, you know, you just pull apart your door skin from your door shell and it just comes right off. There you go. Boom. Then I started prepping my door. I, after I uh, removed the old glue and I removed the old sealer, I started prepping my door skin for my new door skin to go on the door shell. As you can see in here, I'm adding seam sealer to all my uh, all my places that had seam sealer already, and I'm actually trying to make it, I guess, like an even spread, so there won't be any problems whenever you're putting your door skin back on. But you try to get it even spread all around to the prior existing places that it had seam sealer. And as you can see, you know, I'm just putting my seam sealer with my seam sealer gun. Nothing, nothing crazy, you know, just adding a ball of cedar that's close to the, what the manufacturer had. And then after you do that, you go ahead and get your panel bonding adhesive. 
and then you put that all around the door, all around the edge of the door as well. After you get that, you know, your, your door skin is ready to go back in, but you know, I'll let you see what I do here. You know, I'm just putting, like I said, down the bottom. I was actually, I was actually pretty happy to do this video because of the point of view perspective. It was pretty cool, I really liked it. But I do apologize because later on in the video you're going to see some parts where I'm not actually in angle. That's the one thing I hate about recording with my iPhone, you know. What do you call it? It has like that, it has this super zoomed in video look and I have to use like an actual like lens adapter thing to it. And then and when I have it on my head I can't really tell what I'm recording and I this, the second time around recording I didn't ask my dad like hey can you give me a quick spot on how it's looking. I just kind of went ahead and recorded it. And you can kind of see that some stuff is in and out of shot, so I apologize for that. You know, I'll work on it better for my next video, but let me know what you guys think about this, like, point of view perspective, because I really liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. But anyways, right here, I'm putting my door skin back on the door shell, my new door skin. And I'm just trying to make sure I'm, like, putting it close to or exactly on to wherever the old door skin was at, so you don't have any problems fitting the door whenever you're ready to put it back on. And after you do that, after you make sure that everything is like nice and in place, you're gonna go back and fold your four corners, like fold four corners, so that when you flip the door, the door shell over, it won't move on you. Like the door, the door, the door skin won't shift on you. But that's what I'm doing here. You know, I'm over here bending the four corners. You just bend the lips with like a hammer, and you put a dolly behind it. I like to use a metal. I mean, not a metal. Uh, a wood, a wood block because it it takes the blow of the hammer and it reduces like the, the actual blow of the hammer so you don't damage the door skin on the other side. But as you can see here, I switched to the other side of the door skin and now I'm doing that to this side. So after doing this, you know, super terminal, I switched to the other side, to all four sides really. But yeah, I'm just holding the four corners like I said so I don't so the skin doesn't shift on me. And then keep going to the next one. I can't wait to do like a quarter panel video with like this perspective. Or a bedside. And then after that, you know, you're gonna go and then you you're just gonna bend your lip all the way down. Make sure you bend, you have it bent all over, all along the edge. This is where I was talking about where I kind of lose focus on the shots. But you just, you just fold it, and then you can kind of barely see it here. I kind of get it worse somewhere else. But you just fold your lip all the way around, making sure that it's, uh, I guess it's smushed all the way down. And then you go all around the edges. Nothing too crazy to it. They actually sell a bunch of tools so you can do this faster where you just bend with the hammer once and then you have like a, I think they call it a duck. I don't know what they call it really. And then it just goes along the edge and it just folds it for you like so, so much easier. But that tool is like 400 bucks and I don't have that kind of money laying around. But it'd be a good investment though. And they also have another one that's like an air hammer and it does the same thing. It has like a dolly and like an air hammer on top, but it's like 500 bucks too. All of these, all of these body shop tools cost a lot, man. On this upper part, the last part, where like it's hard axis, I just bent the top of the lip a little bit, and then I got my duck pliers and smushed them in all the way down, and I just cleaned any panel bonding that was left over with some thinner, and that's it, guys. Then I pre-fitted my door and made sure everything lined up and it squared up evenly. And sent it off the paint. Here it is. Thank you guys for sticking around, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys around.